Police inefficiencies led to nearly 200 cases being withdrawn from Western Cape courts from April to June. According to a report by the Commission for Gender Equality, capacity constraints are one of the major reasons for the police's inability to deal with the rising tide of gender-based violence. Today, one South Africa movement leader, Musi Maimane, visited the Delft police station to assess its ability to ensure justice for rape victims. ENCA's Nobesutu Hejana is on that story and joins us now for an update. So, one South Africa leader, uh, Musi Maimane, visiting the Delft uh, police station, Nobesutu, and it's one of those with a really high incidence uh, of rape cases. What did he observe, and importantly, does he have any solutions uh, to that problem that he has suggested? So he told us that when he walked into the rape crisis room there at Delft, uh, Delft Police Station, he noticed that the room was quite small and it wouldn't be able to accommodate victims. So saying that it's one of the things that he observed and through his engagements with the station commander or the sergeant that he was speaking to, he was also told that there are locks that or keys that are not there at the station for when people are there to check up on their dockets, so they have to request them from other stations. So saying that it will take about 20 minutes for that particular officer to have access to some of the crucial documents that the person would require. So he's saying that those are some of the concerns that he observed at the police station, but he's saying that he's also calling on civic society organizations to play their part in ensuring that they put pressure on police and saying that it won't be government or government does not have the power on its own or to or people shouldn't rely on government for everything hence he is calling on the civil society organizations the cpf's neighborhood watches to be part of the solution and when he also addressed the media outside and also chatting to the people at the outside the delft police station it did say that he will monitor that particular station as it was also reported that it has about eight percent um prosecutions when it comes to rape cases and gen gender-based violence so he wants people to be more involved in ensuring that there is services brought to the people, especially for that particular police station. But let's take a listen to what he had to say. I, I think the message that we've come on behalf of the community, we want to make sure the system works here, and I'll come back here, make no mistake, because they informed me that on a Tuesday and a Thursday, there are services that are here if you want to come and report the case. I want to come on a Thursday just to make sure that the system in fact works. Because if police and police stations, the community must take responsibility. CPFs and all of those policing forums must be engaged with so that we come and make sure the systems work. It's our communities. It's in, in our neighborhoods. So I will certainly do that. And furthermore, we've got to do a briefing watch to make sure that dockets are not withdrawn, dockets are not lost, that the criminal justice system works to its completion because if it doesn't the number of rape cases that are reported will continue to decrease so never to no one will know the realities of how things work at the delft police station more than the people who are actively involved in promoting safety in the area the community policing forum and my understanding is that from their perspective that station is stretched to the limit Certainly, we spoke to Reginald Mart, who is the chairperson of the Delft Policing, Community Policing Forum outside the police station, where he was telling us that one station services about five sectors in Delft, and also mentioning that he does understand that there are challenges, but is also appealing to the people to work with police, report those cases, don't lose hope, and also saying that if people can't reach the police, the CPF is there to ensure that it supports the community, but he does say that they've been trying to reach out to the national government and ensuring that they get, even if it's a second uh, police station in the area, or they extend that one particular police station to ensure that the services are brought to the people but let's take a listen to what Reginald had to say but the alpha alone uh, with the police station that we've got I, I don't think 
we've been fighting here to say, let us, can, can we get a bigger police station or can we get another police station um, to service the community of Diao? Because crime is arrived within your other area and it spills down to the other area. We've got currently now five sectors within the Diao area. And the sectors are so far apart from each other. Uh, when crime happens on the one side and you put all your resources into that area, uh, it spills down to, to the other area. And Nobisutu, this was also an occasion for the community to give something of a scorecard, a report of sorts, on their lived experiences of interacting with the Delft police station. And that produces mixed outcomes. Certainly, and they're taking up Musima Ibane's challenge to monitor that particular station, saying that for them it's been for, far too long where they've had to, some have to um, return home as they're not getting assistance from the police station. Others are complaining about the poor service where a person will go to report a crime, but it will take about 20 minutes for police to respond to an emergency. So others were also saying that a person will go there and get a an interdict, or rather it will be granted by the courts, but then when they go to the police station, whether they have complaints about the people who are not adhering to that interdict, police will certainly not be willing to assist, saying that they are out, the matter is out of their reach. But others are saying that we do understand that this, the police station is stretched, as Mr. Reginald had mentioned, that it services about five sectors. But they are also saying that uh, people should not lose hope, but they should. Um, they are encouraging them, rather, to continue um, opening those cases to so that they can be safe so let's take a listen to what Bongeka had to say I think staffs also is making also efforts to arrest those people but at the end of the day those perpetrators having their way to go out of the prison in few in few hours or in few in few months time you see so I don't know ma'am what thing that the, the human must do so that they could get justice in South Africa. Otherwise, GBV is not stopping anywhere. Even today, I think that there is maybe someone who came here and report. Some of the cases are not being reported, you know. People are staying while they've been abused in their communities. That's a resident in the area of Delft, the Bonge Gadugisa, uh, ending that reporting by ENCA's Nobesutu Hejana.